said he declared you right even though you did not give him a cause to do so. He justified you without cause by his grace. Now I want you to look at something. Most religions today, most religions seek to answer only one question. Think about it. All the religions out there, except for some Eastern mystic religions, but most religions seek to answer only one question. How can a man be right with God? If you go into some African pagan tribes or South America or even here in the United States where they're returning to paganism and they're offering blood sacrifices to trees and demon gods and everything else, all over the world throughout history, men have had this reality that they were wrong with God. Whatever God they believed in. They had this knowing in their conscience that there was a problem. And that demonstrates one thing, that Romans chapter 1 is true. That all men know enough about the one true God and enough about His will to know that they have broken His law and that He is against them and they are against Him. But let's just, let's just interview for a second three men... From your, from your main religions. The reporter comes up to the, the Orthodox Jew and says, Sir, if you died right now, where would you go? Well, I'd go to paradise. Why? I love the law of God. I am a righteous man. I do good works. I study His law, love His God, law, feed upon His law. I am a righteous man. And the reporter goes, Okay, I understand that. Okay, Muslim, if you died right now, where would you go? I would go to paradise. Why? Because I love the Quran. I have made all the pilgrimages. I make the daily prayers. I give alms to the poor. So on and so forth. I am a righteous man. The reporter says, okay, I understand that. Comes to the Christian, the true Christian. You have to keep saying that in America because everyone believes they're Christian. You come to the Christian and the reporter says, sir, if you died right now, where would you go? I'd go to heaven. Why? Well... I was, I was born in sin. In sin did my mother conceive me. I have broken every law that God has ever given. Thoroughly found unrighteous and lacking in merit and worth. I deserve the deepest, darkest judgments. Of, the reporter says, stop! The other guys, I understand. They say they're going to heaven because they deserve to go to heaven. God owes them. God is their debtor. They've proved themselves worthy. God must give them heaven. But you, I don't understand. You're telling me with joy that you're going to heaven, but then you're telling me you have no worth or merit to go there? How are you going to heaven? And the Christian smiles and he says, because I'm going to heaven based upon the merit and the worth of another, Jesus Christ my Lord. Now of those three, who gives glory to God? And who gives glory to men? You see that? This is not about us. This is not about our morality and our goodness. This is about Him. 